All right, what's going on, boys and girls? So this particular video, let's talk Huawei, Linux, specifically Deepin, and what that means for Linux and us. So first off, I know this is going to be something that comes up, so I'm just going to get it the fuck out of the way now. Uh, security and privacy and all the other, you know, backdoors and all the other spyware crap that's going to come up because, it's, oh, it's all China. As far as the Deepin stuff, Nothing's ever been proven. All the codes, the codes there to check and no one's found anything. Personally, when certain YouTubers made that claim, it was unsubstantiated and they're a jackass for it. Um, as far as the spying and all the other, you know, back doors and all the other crap. If you buy anything that is made in China at all, and that is your argument for privacy and security, Burn it now or send it back. If you're an Apple user and you value your privacy, guess what? Everything's made at Foxconn. China. No leg to stand on in my book. So if that's if that's where you want to hang your hat, I completely disagree. And I think you're fucking terribly wrong. But be wrong. That's that's my you know that's my view on it. Now, what does this mean for Linux? What is Deep in Linux being installed by default and offered in China to the Chinese market on premium Huawei hardware? Mean it means better Linux experience out of the box. And how do you know what what does that mean? A better out of the box experience. It's the same thing that we benefit from now from when Android and Chrome OS were initially launched and announced. If we did not have Chrome OS and if we did not have Android, we would still have the experience of 2010 on the Linux desktop with our wireless. For those that weren't around or don't remember, it was fucking abysmal. Broadcom firmware cutter. Need I say more? So Linux desktop ended up reaping the benefits because of Android and Chrome OS. With Huawei now doing this with Deepin, we potentially gain a benefit of a better out of the box experience because this gives clout and you know Huawei's a big ass company. This is not a small company. This is a big company putting Linux on not low end systems. The, you know the MateBook 13, 14 and X Pro are not low end systems. So this means a lot to Linux because it means it gives Linux a more viable, more views, puts it out in front of a different demographic than the typical one that, you know, the echo chamber we always preach in by a major company that has deep pockets. I'm not going to get into how, how deep or how they're deep or anything, but the simple fact of the matter, we potentially can gain a lot. Better driver support, more clout for better drivers because we're not, not how we don't just have one major company supporting Linux with Dell. We also have now Huawei. That's a lot of clout to push in front of device manufacturers, etc., to support our platform. And if that supports our platform and the code it is open, I don't care. We're the country of origins from as long, I'm it's no different so if it, at the end of the day if the overall benefit is a better Linux as an operator like a desktop operating system then you're damn skippy I'm gonna support it so what's your guys take do you do you think this is good do you think this is bad are you indifferent you guys know what to do comment rate subscribe all the Patreon and Egala stuff is down below as well. Catch you on the flip. Peace.